Hello everybody, Aaron Spalsbury at 3X Logic again. Today we're going to be going over the Vigil Client software, how to do a quick connection to multiple servers, how to drag and drop live view, and how to do quick searching within the software. Okay, so here we are within our client software. Off to the left hand side we've already loaded a number of servers with, into the system under the server tab up here at the top. But we're going to go ahead and connect to some of these servers. Now there's a number of ways that you can do this. You can either highlight it and right click on it and go to connect. That will connect with whatever default credentials you've programmed in. Or you can hit connect as, which of course will bring up a username and password. This would be used if uh, you were going to be logging in as an administrator, whereas the default may be a user. Uh, in our case, the default is an administrator. So we can either come over here and hit click the little plus button. Of course, that'll connect to all of our cameras. So let me go ahead and disconnect real quick or you can just double click on the icon that will also connect to it. You'll also notice that the monitor off to the left hand side will turn green. Anytime that happens that means you are currently connected to that server. So I'll scroll down a little bit. I'll just double click on the next one, connect to this server as well, and scroll down and I'll choose this one as well. So right now we're concurrently connected to three separate servers all at the same time. I'm going to scroll up to the top here. Uh, any one of these cameras can then be brought into a live screen. There's a number of ways that you can do this feature. If I right click on the screen and do display all that'll bring up all of our cameras in one shot but in this case I only want to bring up one camera so I'm just gonna double click on any one of these I'll expand this screen out a little bit just to make it a little bit larger from this point we can choose any one of the multi-screen options up here at the top I'll do a, a three by three here now from here I can just grab any one of these cameras and just drag them and drop them from any server into any location that I want it doesn't matter which camera I've got coming into what location it's entirely software based I can literally just drag and drop these all day long and put any one that I want in any location. From here I now have the option of of course clicking and zooming in on any one of these images. We can do that on any one of these cameras but we also have the ability to do a search from any one of these servers. So I'll come up here to the search button. We'll go ahead and jump into the search screen and you'll notice this looks a lot like the typical Vigil server software. You've got your same creature comforts where you've got your calendars, you've got your date and times and of course all of your presets. You've also got all of your various modes that you can search through if you choose to search through all of these at one time. But for the most part, the default is going to be all modes. And then more importantly, what server do you actually want to connect or uh, search from? So now that I've got this information in here, I'll go ahead and hit search. And it's going to bring up a list of cameras that I want to search from. So let's say I wanted to search in our build area here. I'll just double click on that. And it's going to go ahead and bring up this video. Now from here, of course, you'll notice this is very similar to the same thing we have within the Vigil server. I can grab this and drag this bar across, find any information that I'm looking for. I've got the ability to use all of the smart search and zoom, adjust the image, markers, all of these wonderful features you find on the Vigil server. There is one other feature that's on here, and that's actually the visual, visual search. So I'll go ahead and click this button, and this is going to bring up the same thing that we've got on our server software. In this case, where we've got motion-based recording. As I slide it back and forth here, you'll notice that the time moves along wherever I move. Anywhere that I click in this region, it's going to go ahead and bring up that video. Now from here, of course, we can play the video, fast forward it, rewind it, all of the stuff that you're used to on the Vigil server software, as well as saving any of this information off. So from here you can see that a lot of the same functionality is going to be in the client software as it is on the server software. Uh, again, you can use all of the same functionality that you have on the Vigil server software through the client software. And then once you're finished with this particular function, all you have to do to disconnect from any one of these servers is come over to the right, highlight it, right click on it, and disconnect. It'll ask you if you do want to go ahead and disconnect with this as of course any alarms that you may be receiving through the client software at this point will cease to happen uh, because we are disconnecting physically from the server. So I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. I'm going to slide up and go ahead and disconnect from these guys as well. And that's it. We are now back out of our server software. I'll go ahead and close my search screen. I'll go ahead and close my live display screen and we're right back to where we started.